Hey y'all, this is Photo P, and um, thank y'all for purchasing your fire stick from me. I'll be showing y'all the basics of how to maneuver around your fire stick and get the best experience you can out of it. Um, first things first, we want to connect it to the Wi-Fi because this is a Wi-Fi wi based operating system. So first thing you want to do, this is what you'll see when you cut on your fire stick. You know, you have all your categories and things like that. First things first though, we want to go down to the settings. Go over to system, let that load up, go down to network. And here you'll choose your network, you know, you'll, you'll click on and put your password in, it'll go through the, you know, the connection settings, and then pretty much you'll be good to go. Um, from there, you know, we'll get back to the beginning. Here, you know, you can go down to your apps and things like that. This is what comes basic on your Fire Stick with no upgrades or anything like that, you know. You shouldn't really have to use any of this game time or any of these, you know, other services that they show. They're all they're all included under the special update that's provided on your stick. Um, only thing you really could use from here, I suggest, is probably like for you Netflix Netflix users. Um, you know, you have Netflix right here. Boom, hit the install button. As well as um, they have games and things like that. Um, many free games. You know, a whole bunch of things just to chill and play with in front of the family um, just a wide variety of games but uh, let's get into the good stuff um, alright so how to access the menu is to double tap the home button on your remote which is the middle top button you'll tap it twice and it'll open up Cody and from here is where we get into the good stuff so once Cody opens up, you know, you have your categories, you know, you have your your videos, your music, your favorites, things like that. I'll get into every category as we go on, but let's get into the to the goodies. First thing we want to go over to is videos. Click videos, it'll open up this category right here. You want to go down to add-ons, video add-ons. From there is all the good stuff. These are pretty self-explanatory. Um, one Channel's movies, Crackle's movies, Dexter's live TV movies, all of these are just filled from top to bottom with movies and different type of things, you know, do some exploring, click on some things, it's as simple as clicking the back button to get out of it, um, go all the way down, have YouTube, your favorites, and just many, many more, One Channel, let's get into that though, click that, it'll load up, go down to movies, we also have TV shows, just different categories. Like I said, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just a little reading, easy to figure out. Um, show you how this works. So you click movies, find your category, and it's just as simple as knowing what you want to look for or just searching around and coming across things. You know, you find your movie, you have tons and tons and tons of movies. The list just goes on and on and on and on. And all you really have to do is... Um, you know, find you something you want to watch, Jurassic World, click on it, let that load up, give it a few seconds. All this is basically doing is searching the entire internet and looking for you what you're trying to find. Pretty much just open sourcing the internet and grabbing the best videos that they can from all the services that are out there. It's basically bringing it all to one place. Um, you know, different links have different qualities. Um, just basically, you know, dip, every link is something different. As you can see, we got Jurassic World playing. You can fast forward, rewind, pause, come back to it later. And it's just great. You know, this is Jurassic World. I don't even think this is out on DVD yet. If I'm not mistaken, um, if it is, you know, always click and support donate for, for helping out these people who are providing these services for you. Um, you know, just the list goes on and on and on. Any movie you want. Hangover, Furious 7, Kingsman. And, um, yeah, like, all of these categories, once you get into here, all these right here, just all do different stuff. Like I said, everything provides movies. Some have channels like Dexter. You know, this is one that I recommend. Um, it has everything, pretty much. So your live TV, your movies, your TV shows, you know, you want to catch up on your series or... Anything like that, it's all there. Um, let's check out some live TV add-ons real quick. Um, come down and, you know, like I said, just read. It'll tell you what you want to know. Just have to look for it. You know, we have our premiere channels, 
our basic channels, our kids channels, our music channels. The list just goes on and on and on. Um, right here, our, as you can see on the screen, all of our premiere channels like HBO, our Showtimes and things like that. Just find one that you want to get into and um, hit the OK button and it'll load up. Give that a few seconds. Let's try a different one. You know, not every one of these are guaranteed to work. You know, there is a lot of bugs and things like that being figured out, but that's just like anything else. Boom. As you can see, we're looking at what's going on on ESPN. As it's on ESPN, you know, there's probably a couple second lag, but nothing too major. Um, try click another one just to show you guys. Boom, there we go. Movies streaming straight from the premium channels that you pay for with your cable providers. Um, like I said, the list just goes on and on. There's sports, there's basic channels, there's your TV shows if you want to get into those. From Dexter to Walking Dead to Empire and the list is just on and on and on. Also providing international channels like Spanish channels. Um, they have Europe, Germany and pretty much anything else that you could think of and you know like I said it's pretty simple to figure out um, you just go through the different categories everything has 